up everyone? Welcome to my review for Brave, a brand new Disney Pixar film, and I love Pixar, and Cars 2 was terrible, so a new one is here, and this one will hopefully wash the bad taste of Cars 2 out of our mouths, because that was terrible, and I don't even want to count it as a Pixar film, I don't know what they were thinking, sure the animation was great, but everything else was not, so... Got that off my chest. Anyway, Brave. I couldn't wait for it. The trailers look great. I couldn't wait for it. Let's talk about it. The story here follows Merida, who is a princess, a Scottish princess, and to be honest, she really doesn't want to be a princess. She wants to go around and shoot arrows at stuff and fight off creatures, climb high things, ride on her horse. She wants to be an adventurer, and of course her, her mother, the queen, does not want her to do that. She wants her to be more of a lady, wants her to be a future queen, so they don't really see eye to eye that much. And later on in the film, they have a huge argument. They have a really bad one, and Merida decides to run away, and while she's running away she meets up with a witch who he's she's going oh it's a witch maybe she has a spell that can uh, I can cast on my mom and make her different and she decides to ask her and she agrees and she gives her this piece of cake when someone eats it it changes the way they are and it changes whoever gave it to them their fate and she gives it to her mom she eats it and the thing is she turns into a bear <laughs> yeah that's right a bear and yeah so she turns into a bear and now Merida has to find out a way to change her back and of course hide her from people because you know people and bears don't really mix together and she will she will get killed so cars cars anyway the story here is very simple, but I have to admit, the characters are just so much fun. I really enjoy all these characters, especially Merida. I just, I don't know why, I just, I always felt bad for her at times. I always liked her. Maybe it's because of the voice actress, um, Kelly McDonald. She did a great job in this, but she was so much fun. And of course, the other characters like uh, the king, uh, I didn't even mention, King Fergus, uh, played by Billy Connolly, who does a great job in this. And I don't know, I just love his facial expressions and the way he's designed. And all the other characters are designed very weirdly. All the men are designed like these barbarians type guys. And they're all fun to watch. And he's, he's really great in the film. And Emma Thompson, who we just saw in Men in Black 3, does a great job as the queen. She's more of the, the strict, you know, like you know, hardened type, and she's the only one here that's really serious and never really cracks that many jokes, but she's really fun in the film as well, even though she's more strict. She's great in the film. So overall, the voice actors do a great job, and just the characters and the story itself is just so much fun. The story is great, the voice acting is great, the characters are a lot of fun, it's very funny too at times. So what is the problem with this film that critics are having? I mean, most critics are saying it's a very mediocre animated film. Some of them are even saying it's just a not a great Pixar film, so what is the problem with it if I think everything else is great? To be honest, I don't know, because the next thing I'm going to talk about is, of course, the animation. And this is one of the best looking animated films I've ever seen in my life. First of all, there'll, there'll be times where you'll just zoom around and you'll see the landscape and all the trees and mountains and some of the waterfalls. And i got to admit, at times, it looks almost as good, if not maybe just as good, as Avatar. Yeah, Avatar. It looks almost as good as that. And sure, it doesn't look as alien, because that was an alien planet in Avatar. Sure, it doesn't look as, like, groundbreaking, or like, oh my god, I haven't seen something like this ever. Oh my god, floating rocks and stuff. You know, it's, <laughs> I don't know what that was, but <laughs> that was me when I first watched Avatar. Oh my god, it's so amazing. But, uh, <laughs> uh, it's not like that, sure, but it does look absolutely, uh, fantastic. And I gotta admit, the character models, they're very Pixar-ish, they have the round heads and they have the big eyes and stuff. It's very Pixar slash I mean, uh, Disney-esque. But, the main character, Mer Merida, Merida's hair, oh my god, the hair, it's so good! Just the way she runs around, it's like flowing and stuff, I'm like, god, that's, that's some good hair. They made that hair really big and, like, like, everywhere for a good reason. They have some good hair physics. That's some good air physics. <laughs> That's a good engine for some hair physics. I want that hair. Just put it on. I'm beautiful. So anyway, I got the big eyes too. I'm beautiful. So anyway, <laughs> the animation's great. It's a lot of fun. It's very funny at times. The characters are great. I don't know why people have a problem with this film. I think it's a fantastic Pixar film, especially ever since Cars 2 came into theaters and ruined my life. But uh, anyway, 
I forgot about that film now. I, it's gone because this movie was great. I'm going to give this a 38 out of a 40. The reason why I don't give it a perfect score is because there's times where it gets a little cliche and you do know where this story is going, but it's still a great time either way. So there you go. There's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. 38 out of 40. Thank you and goodbye.